Well, here we are, folks. We are now in Whitby. Whitby, one of North Yorkshire's finest seaside resorts. Famous, of course, for its fishing. What else is it famous Dracula. for, Helen? Dracula. We'll go for a little wander around and let's see if we can find some of these Dracula hotspots. So look at all these lovely boats here in Whitby Harbour and look over here at all the pots, lobsters and the rest of it. Well, it's all caught here, isn't it? So we're going to go for a little wander around the harbour now, folks. Is that big ship there? The Endeavour. So this ship here is a bar and a grill. I don't see anybody on it, though. So we'll have to investigate that further, Helen, I think, when we get back. At the top of the hill over there is the, uh, the Abbey. We might get to that later on. There is one thing there's plenty of around here is fresh fish. And there's a chippy over there. So what I love about Whitby and Scarborough and all these old Yorkshire seaside towns is this real blend of old and new because it's very oldie worldy. And the sun's coming out now, which is brilliant. The Jolly Sailors over there and the Buck Inn. I actually think this is a great place for a pub crawl. If you fancy a sea trip, then the yellow boats are a 20 minute sea trip for five pounds, under fives go free. But no more tours till tomorrow. And there's the, uh, the Whitby lifeboat over there. I've not seen a Dracula shop yet, Helm. So it's like a bit of a goth weekend, is it? But they're all sort of done up like a... They're all sort of done up a bit... Um, yeah. A bit sort of gothy. Ah, here's the Dracula shop. I knew it wouldn't be too far before we found it. Five pounds to get in, though. So let's just have a look and find out a bit more about this true story of Dracula here. You can go in and watch a, a movie in here, like a short film. There's no such thing, you know. What are you going to be scared of? Uh, what's it say that it takes a very strong man to wear six foot four? 
So the, I don't know, the cloak worn by Christopher yeah. Lee in the Hammer Dracula films between 58 and 73 is on display during the tour of this building. It is very heavy, uh, 112 pounds, uh, that's 50 kilos, as it had lead weights in the hem to make it flare out when walking. It took a very strong man and at least six foot four inches tall to be able to wear it. It was last worn by Mike Andrew portraying Dracula during the making of Dracula, his true story and his connection to Whitby in January 2020. So two things that we've noticed there's plenty of so far in Whitby and that is trip boats. <laughs> Here's another one. Got a very oldie worldy look and feel about it. The Bark Endeavour, this boat's called. There's a view back down the harbour. And we're almost at the harbour's mouth here. So I'm going to take a wander over there because it's quite a view. We were trying to work out when we last came to Whitby and uh, we remembered it was 1990. And uh, at that time I used to work for a, a leisure company that owned circus buildings, theatres, clubs and nightclubs and we used to come to Scarborough quite a lot in those days. And that's when we were last here, 1990, so, crikey, 33 years ago. See all these people dressed up? What's going on? I want to know what's going on. I found out what's going on. It is Gothic weekend. Uh, and everyone from all over the country is arriving here for the weekend. Tomorrow is the big day. It's Saturday. It's a bank holiday weekend, if you're wondering. Um, I think bank holiday Friday. I thought it would be a bit busier than this. Anyway, they're all staying up on the campsites on the other side of the, um, what's it called, the monastery over there. And uh, everyone's all dressed up and come down. Very interesting. Now, over there on the other side, there's a little beach there, look. Fabulous. And the sun is fighting hard to come out. The blue sky is all over the sea, and the cloud is all over the Yorkshire Dales, which is a bit of a shame. Look at the view over there, Helen. Cliff tops and a gun pointing out to sea there. Yep, the Goths are in town, folks. I bet they're going to have some fun. They'll be on the last tonight, won't they, them lot? A tribute to the Whitby seafarers. Now, this gate gets closed off at times. I should imagine during rough seas. <clears throat> this wouldn't be a great place to be standing. You won't want to come down here in your high heels either, because you'll be down, <laughs> I'm sure. So as views go, this is pretty spectacular, folks. The tide's out, as I mentioned. You can see over there the waves, while well, they're breaking out to sea. And some of those waves are quite large. I don't know if we can zoom in on those a little bit. We'll try. And we're right on the very end. You can't get any further out now. Certainly any further east. So if you were bringing your boat in here, look, your red port side, should be in line with that red marker over there on the tower, the harbour entrance. And the old saying is red to red, green to green. Certainly on the way in. Quite a view to savour, really. And now the sun's out on the sea here. That looks really spectacular. How beautiful is that? Looking north up the coast. It's just wonderful. So I better head back, find Helen. What a beautiful night.
Well, it's chalk and cheese because this morning it was so misty and murky, wasn't it? And, and dank, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a new word. <laughs> that's my favourite new word. And now look, it's like summer's come back this evening. And I'm hoping tomorrow will be the same, Helen. Yeah. We've had a good long walk around Whitby, but we've decided we're actually going to head back towards Robin Hood's Bay and uh, have a bike to eat over there. Some funny looking people around. <laughs> Is that a bottle bank? Okay. Not sure. Or is it where you put your old fish and chip cartons? <laughs> Plastic bottles go in here, very good. Left hand drive mini here, look at that. Which way is he going? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Whitby, on a scale of one to ten, Helen, what are you giving it? Oh, a good nine. A good nine, isn't it? Beautiful, isn't it? It is, it's lovely. Plenty to see, plenty to do, loads of fish and chips, lovely walks, plenty of history here as well. Don't be shy. Yeah. Oh, I've got <laughs> Whose birthday is it, anyway? <laughs> no, I have just got to Mine nearly. Oh, have you? <laughs> <laughs> great, great excuse for a party. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Thank Have you. a good weekend. Thank you. Well, that's all from Whitby. We do hope you've enjoyed our little walk around this evening. And if you have, don't forget, as always, if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, hit the button now and uh, leave a comment because we love all the comments and we answer every single one of them. Hit the notification bell. That will let you know when our next video is being released, which I can tell you actually is going to be on Thursday at 4.30. And if you're wondering where that's going to be from, well, there's a few pictures to tempt you. You might recognise some of these from an old ITV drama. Remember Heartbeat? Yes, folks, we're off to Aidensfield. But for now, if you have been, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.